Bitwig 5 is here with lots of great new features. The most exciting for me are the new modulators. We have waited a long time to have a functionality in Bitwig, like for example the Shaper Box, right? My name is Thomas Foster and in this tutorial I show you everything you need to know about the new modulators. Good to have you here, let's go! So to open a new modulator, let's go here to this plus on the polysynth and one of the new modulators is for example the curves. Let's double click it and now we see here this very complex form of a curve and we can make this big and if I say big I mean really big, right? <laughs> and let's reset this so I say uh, reset curve now we have it like this and I want to have this, let's close this again for a moment, I want to be this uh, curve exactly one bar, right? And it should be synced, these are all features we know from the other modulators, the old modulators, it should be synced to the metronome and you see if I start the metronome immediately the curve is starting. One more time. Now it's in the middle and chuck, it's resetting and starting. So this is exactly one, two, three, four, one bar. I want to control the pitch as we can hear exactly what is happening. So let's go to plus 12, what is an octave. And you see it's exactly one bar. But now we can take different mouse uh, forms, for example, uh, tools. For example, this triangle here. And let's click here, like this, and here, like this. So, and again and again. And it's exactly in the beat. Uh, bam, bam. Perfect. And maybe, because the, uh, one of the nice things is, is that it also can be bipolar, so we can go also in the minus area, for example, like this. Wonderful. And we can use the pencil to do things like this. We can use the normal mouse to move a point to double click a point to erase it to add with a double click a point or to make a curve by holding down the alt key all features that we know from the automation right we can select some points and move them all together and we have different mouse tools like this square tool here or uh, this one where is it here this is, uh, this is more a square tool right uh, like this here and um, yeah it's a lot of fun and a lot of options that you can uh, use and um, here we have this uh, enable s uh, smoothing so this is uh, taking care that we don't have a click at this point you can smooth it and set here the time uh, for a little curve for 10 milliseconds or more or less right yeah but um, what is if you want to start this curve immediately when you play a note on the keyboard, then I would recommend another modulator, the new segments. This um, at the first moment looks like an ADSR, an envelope, but you also can make it big by clicking on it and move it like this. And uh, we have the same tools here, so we could make it like this, for example. Uh, let's control again the pitch, plus 12. Yeah, and here is already something interesting happening. There is a loop. So normally it, you would play it with this one here, then it's one shot. But you can also use the hold feature, then it would hold or stop on the blue line. Or you could loop it, now we have uh, this loop here. 
You can make the loop forward and backward. And for sure we can change the loop. With the normal mouse we go to the line here, the blue line at the beginning or at the end and then we can change the loop. And that's pretty cool because you really can do interesting stuff. We have here the amount that is normally 100%, but maybe you say everything is cool, but I just want to have 50% of everything that is, was happening until now. Okay, exactly. Right, I love this. It's pretty cool. And you can load also existing curves by clicking here this folder. And yeah, I have not, not downloaded them, but the, in the future there will be a lot of uh, curves that you simply load and use. All right. But one of the new features is that we cannot make this new modulators or also the old just on the instruments, effects and plugins. No, we also can use it on the whole track or in the whole project. For this, we have here this project bar and this polysynth bar. Um, let's uh, click here the modulators of the track and let's add a plug-in or uh, effect like this equalizer here. Uh, let's, let me change some bands here. All right. And now we can use a modulator. Let's use a very simple LFO. And now we say on this track, I want to move uh, here something on the EQ and I want to move the filter here. So until now we had to do them in a group to make this possible, but now we can do this immediately on this track thing here that has the same name like our track. In this case, it's poly synth. Let's make this Thomas Foster and now it's called here Thomas Foster. And we also can change uh, the level of the track, what is pretty cool, right? You see that? And also the panning. If you open the mixer, let's um, click here and let's move the panning. And now the equalizer, the filter, the volume and the panning is changed by this modulator. Pretty cool. And it's getting even cooler. We have this project bar here. I'm not sure if the name is bar, but this this line here. And uh, let's add a LFO. And with the LFO, we again change the volume of our track. We change the equalizer and we change the filter. And we also change the volume of the next track and the sand of the next track. And if we go now to the next track, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> now you hear my voice double, then you hear, uh, then you see exactly the same thing because this is part of the project and the project is always the same. Also, if I go to the master track, I could change something on the master track. Let's use here a tool. This LFO could also do something on the master track. And this is pretty useful. Oh, I still have one more thing. If you like producing music like me, then you probably know the problem of finding good drum and percussion sounds. Those who came with the music program do not sound right. And on all internet sites where you would get the really good stuff, you pay a fortune. On all? No, not really. There's a web page in whose development I'm involved. Mugent.com Mugent is written with M-U-G-E-N-T and it comes from Musically Intelligent. Mugent. You can find drum beats that sounds exactly like what you hear in the charts or in the big clubs in Ibiza, Miami or Berlin. The web page reminds a little bit of Google. You can just use the text search, get immediately results 
you can listen to and download for free or you can use the menus with which you can narrow down the search. On Nutrient you can find drum sounds to every genre, music loops, so complete beats, percussion single sounds and loops, cool bass riffs, funky brass and synth riffs, guitars and all sorts of sound effects from birds to cars, from the sound of the sea to helicopters. With me there is no more production where I didn't use the sounds from Mutant.com. Take a look, you will love it. My name is Thomas Foster, thanks for following, always stay creative, cheers!